Wow. Hello. Good morning. My brothers and sisters in Christ. Um. So this morning I woke up. Uh, you know, I was starting. I started praying. You know, giving thanks to the Lord for waking me up this morning for breathing for for breathing into my lungs and letting me, and letting me see another day in my life. You know, because like I said, tomorrow nobody, not even myself, we are not promised the next day. We're not promised the next week, next year, next month. We're not. We're not, we're not promised that. So, yeah. So, as soon as I was almost done praying, I asked the Lord to give me to give me an assignment today. And what else? You know, what's the like? What's the next teaching that He wants me to tell y'all, or the next warning, or you know, what what else do you does He want me to share? And He led me to Beyonce. And her new album. Now I don't never I, I don't listen to Beyonce at all, you know. But after I saw this, God told me the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel. Now, like I said, I don't listen to one to none of her songs. But there's a song on here. I mean, on her album. It. It, it, it says something that uh, it's like it's okay to be a thotty, something like that. I heard this from somebody else's page on Instagram, you know. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta share this too because this is a warning from, you know, like this is like this is getting bad. So yeah, like I said, like one one of her songs, like one of the like the verses it says, uh, I, like, it, like it's okay to be a thotty, you know. Ba basically, what she's saying is, you know, you know, it's, it's okay to be a hoe or whore, like like like. Around here, like on the earth, which is not because that all, all basically, basically, like what she's doing, she's deceiving these women. Okay, now if you go to Revelation chapter 2, chapter 2, give me a second here, go to verse, verse 20. It says, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel. Which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things to sacrifice unto idols. Right there. Basically, Beyonce has basically like the spirit of, of Jezebel is deceiving these women. Like I said, she's telling these women that it's okay to to be a hoe out here, like to uh, you know to have sex, you know. You know, this come on bro. We all know we all know that's not okay. You know, because in this life we cannot live the way how we want. Remember, your body is not yours. Your body belongs to Christ. And he wants you to live holy. Not unholy. Not wickedness. Not sinful. So yeah, like I said. For those, if you if you listen to Beyonce and if you plan on getting her album, don't do it. Don't do it because all you're doing, you're opening doors to the spirit to allow it to come in, like in, like, in, in, like into your presence, and it ain't good. So, yeah, basically she's teaching and seducing these women out here, thinking it's okay for us for 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 those Christian women. Believers in Christ, it's okay to go out here and, and still fornicate. But it, but if you're mindful and you know what's right and wrong, you won't do it. But if you are a lukewarm Christian or a carnal Christian, I advise you not to do it. But hey, remember, God watches everything. He watches and hears everything. Okay? So like I said... Beyonce, if you come to this video, one thing I love you. Two, please repent. Look, it it, it even says uh Revelation chapter two. Twenty one, the like the, the next verse, and I gave her space to repent for her fornication, and she repented not. So Beyonce, you you may or you may not come to this video, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love you in Christ. I highly encourage you 
to come to Jesus Christ. Okay, <clears throat> like true, like truthfully come, like come to, like to Jesus Christ right now. Because if you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, you will be damned and you will be burning you know, in the lake of fire. I hate to say that, but you know, like like, like I said, it's the Lord's uh, will to be done, and God He hates sin with with a passion. He hates fornication with a passion. Okay, He did He did not create us create 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 us to be doing all these things. Okay, so Beyonce, please, you, your husband. Just come, just come to the Lord and repent. Okay? Repent of your deeds truthfully. Stop doing it. It's like, do you know what you can be doing right now? You could be doing the opposite of what you're doing. You could be make, making songs about how, you know, come to the Lord and, you know, and what Jesus can, can do for us. Because right now, you're doing the devil's work. That's, that's, that's what you're doing. Right now, you're making the devil so happy right now. And you're making God angry. You're making your creator angry. Who created you angry. And you're making the serpent very, 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 very well pleased. And he's not. But yeah. So just be honest. I, I, I encourage you to repent. And come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he can change your life right now. He can change your life right now. So, so you better stop like what like what you're doing. As a matter of fact, I cast the spirit of Jezebel out of you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I can the, the holy fire. I cast the spirit of of Jezebel out of you, like right now, Beyonce. Bro, because 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 like I said, like what are you doing right now? You're teaching these Christian women, tell them that, that it's it's okay. To fornicate and follow Jesus, that does not they that does not go together. They don't mix, okay. But yeah, I love you, Beyonce. And um, oh, before I go, and y'all see that picture right there? That, that that's on my my thumbnail, on, like on this video. That's the white horse or pale horse, I believe. But we all know who the white horse is when he comes down. After we go up in the rapture. We all know. That's the Antichrist. Coming down to conquer. This, like this world. Coming down to rule and deceive this whole globe. Okay. Man. But yeah, for those who know. For those who, have, who are in Christ. Y'all already, already know what I'm talking about. Y'all already know about, about, about like what she's doing. But for those who don't, let me tell y'all. And for the women out here who are believers in Christ, this is what she's doing. The spirit of Jezebel is taking over her. The spirit of, of, of Jezebel has, is basically just trying to deceive y'all. And, and like I said, God said, do not be deceived in these last days. And it's happening right now. Do not be deceived. Have a well-minded, get into your Bibles, and get in the word and pray to Jesus because Jesus will show you the way, the right way. But yeah, I just want to come on here real quick because you know the Lord like want me to get this out, this little warning, this, like this warning, because this is very, very serious. Especially for the especially for the Christian one, the, the Christian woman out here. Do not be deceived. And no, you cannot fornicate while serving the Lord. You cannot do that. That's a huge no-no. That is dangerous. That can lead you straight downstairs. And downstairs is, 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 for, is forever torment, forever destruction, no peace, no joy. There's no God there. God is not even there. Your God down there is Lucifer, Satan, the demon. That's your God down there. And he's the opposite of God. Because God is loving, caring. Don't get me wrong, God, he, yeah, he's loving and caring and peaceful, but he could but he could but he could also be wrathful. He could also be wrathful. He sure can. But like I said, 
You know, so I just, just repent, dude. You can ignore this video. You can ignore me. I don't care. But I'm telling you right now because I serve the Lord, and I'm, I, I, I gotta be obe I gotta be obedient. So, yeah. But yeah, for it. But all in all, everybody else who's watching this video, yeah. Today is the day of, of your salvation. Choose who you're gonna serve today. Because God says, I give you free will. You choose who you want to serve. You want to choose Jesus? Or you want to choose Satan? You want to live for Satan, live in his image? Or you want to live in my image? But me coming from me, I highly, highly, a whole hundred percent choose the Lord, the Savior, the King who sits on the throne right now. Waiting for the green light from his father to come get us. Which is the rapture. Because he's, a, because he's our blessed hope. Like in Titus 2.13. In the Bible, Titus 2.13. Waiting for, the, for our blessed hope in, in Jesus Christ. Because he's our blessed hope. Okay. <clears throat> but hey, like I said, God gives us free will. You choose who you, who you want to live for. Live for this world. Keep sinning. Or you, or you start living for this for for Jesus Christ for Jesus Christ right now. Right now and get saved. And I want you to get saved in Jesus' name. Man. But yeah, y'all. The spirit of the spirit of the spirit of, of Jezebel changed. That woman is nasty. That woman is disgusting. But yeah, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day, great night, great morning. Wherever y'all are watching this video, like I always tell y'all. Have a beautiful day in Jesus' name.